Welcome to Angie's DIYs and my name is Angie. In this video we are going to show you how we made some cute little decor with this machine. Now my kids got this machine at a thrift store and it's called a wool baller. You use it to make balls of wood, wool or yarn, you know things to craft with but today we are going to be balling up some kitchen string and you can use this string for all kinds of crafts but it comes in this real now you can see it there's a real big cone of it and I use it for all kinds of things but today we're going to re-roll it into these cake balls and these are called cakes of string or cakes of wool cakes of yarn and we're using this kitchen, what I'm calling kitchen string. Now here you see I found these beautiful little plates. It was like $2 for three of them. And you see those little glasses back there? I think those are sherry glasses. But what we're going to do is make a multi-purpose decor item with this one, one little stand. And... The ideal is like when, you know, a lot of people don't use the big birthday cakes anymore. They use cupcakes. And so what I was thinking is you could use this for a cupcake for a special event or when you're having someone over for dinner and you want to just put a little candle in a cupcake. But then when you're not having to use it for that, you could use it for this cake of string. Because it's really, really handy to have string and a pair of scissors at ready at hand here we are we're measuring measuring it to see if it'll fit in that plate see how much string will fit in that plate and make it look like a little cake now you can still buy this machine we did find some on amazon and they were not real expensive so now he's going to take it off take it off he's through grinding the string on there we go Look how pretty that is. It fits right in that plate. And I just kind of pushed it down a little bit to make it look like a cake. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, here's some. I didn't have a cupcake, so I put some popcorn in there so you could see. <laughs> okay, now let's show you how to glue it together. See, and your little scissors just go right in the top. And that's just those little cross-stitch scissors. And they're not real expensive either. I think you can pick those up at uh, Amazon and probably some of the big box craft stores would have those, I'm sure. Now, I got the E6000. This is uh, must have been a new tube because it, went, it was easy to put on there. Normally, I have a hard time squeezing that tube. Look how smooth that thing came out. New paint, new glue. It's always so much fun to work with. All right, just put a generous amount of glue on there. Then when you eyeball that onto the plate there to get it in the center, you're going to still need to hold it for a few minutes because I don't know if your E6000 does it, but it mo mine will move. So you have to hold it until it, until it grips onto it to keep it from moving. Just hold it for a few seconds there. It's not going to stick in that few seconds, but that keeps it from moving around. Normally, I would let that sit overnight, but I want to show you how it's going to look. So, Look at that. And you could even put a little bow on there. You might could put some little seasonal items on there. But it's in use for when you don't have a cupcake to use it for. And here's how it looks all staged up. Isn't that beautiful? My daughter staged that up for me and my son rolled my son-in-law rolled the wire. So we just had a good time with this little craft. 